Hey guys, Edgy here. Welcome to another Edgy review. And you're more than welcome to it. This time we are looking at a little indie game called The Spook Inspectors. An indie game available at the moment in early access on Steam, developed by Starving Indie Developer. Great name, by the way. For the humble price of £2.89. Now, this is different to your normal game. I've got to say, let me just bring it over for you. You can have a look and see what we're dealing with. This is different to a lot of other games that are out there. I've not come across anything quite like this before. This is basically a ghost hunting simulator. Now, some of you may or may not know, when I'm not reviewing games or streaming on Twitch, one of my many alter egos, I often help out and have actually in the past organised professional ghost hunts. Oh, uh, this is a subject that's quite familiar to me. I'm on familiar territory. This is what actually fascinated me about the game. Now you see from the menu, uh, there's a variety of different locations and uh, different devices that you can use where you bring the device across and you see the ghost. Doesn't always work like that, but <laughs> my argument in that defense you don't always see a ghost when you when you hear it in the game or when you uh, sense it uh, or experience something. You don't always see the silhouette like the menu's promising. But in real life, if you're in a ghost hunt, it's often like that as well. I have to say, it really is. Um, so you're playing the role of someone who's trying to impress this uh, paranormal investigation society called the Spook Inspectors. And you begin as very, very much, uh, this is your uh, hobby. And I would assume as the game progresses, you become more and more professional and end up becoming quite a big cheese in it. Uh, I think we'll dive straight in, just to give you an experience of what you will be uh, going through when you uh, play this game. So if we start a brand new game, start a new game rather than continue the old game, I basically played it for a half an hour just to have a feel of it. This is going to be as much a first impressions as any. Uh, I, I, I always, uh, always like to get a feel of it. By day you have a flourishing career. A flourishing career. As an eating sceptical absolution management engineer. <laughs> the person who washes the dishes. I can really identify with this. I used to work in a conference centre washing dishes. And I dreamed about being a ghost buster. Of a local happy spoon diner. By night you're an aspiring paranormal investigator who hopes to work their way up. The ranks of a spook inspector's paranormal society continue. The spook inspectors describe themselves as scientific investigators. Although their logo of a sheet of ghost has led to some scepticism about that claim. It doesn't matter what you have as a logo. If you put yourself forward as a ghost investigator of any time, you're gonna any kind, you're gonna get uh, scepticism. There are steep requirements to gain entrance to this illustrious organisation, including demonstrating the ability to explore potentially haunted areas while alone, and gather verifiable indicators of paranormal activity in the form of infrared, ultraviolet, electromagnetic, or other evidence. Advancement will gain you more and better devices and a stylish new spook inspector's clothing to wear with pride. You could skip all this, by the way. So, you have a uh, selection of different places to investigate. I, the game insinuates it wants you to start at the top and work your way down. And certainly this first one is the place where you work. Happy Spoon Diner is the location of your day job as a dishwasher. Which means you can detect a conduct a paranormal investigation simply by staying late after everyone else leaves. If you're following the story through, that would be the natural place to go to start with. But you could access any of these levels at any time. 
I, 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 we will start with this one first, just to give you an idea of uh, what you're going. You'll also go to the um, uh, Spook Inspector's Paranormal Investigation Office uh, at any time. I, I'll show you that in a bit as well. The Happy Spoon Diner, nicknamed Greasy Spoon Diner by many of its dissatisfied customers, is known for basic American fare, including a canned meatloaf and peanut butter sandwiches, as well as being mildly famous for its thriving population of cockroaches, alleged paranormal activity. The latter includes reports of hearing footsteps and seeing strange shadows. Although waitress Betty Mump says, I can't understand why anyone would come back here from beyond the grave. Good point. And it throws you straight in. There's no load screens. You're straight there. And the mouse sensitivity is very, very fast. Do not use plump pup home style canned meatloaf dinner. It's for tox. But I love plump pup products. It's too upscale for most of our customers. <laughs> Do not put cockroaches into our customers' meal. We may lose our food service permit besides some customers are vegetarians. <laughs> Two words, extra protein. I like this. Anyone who's worked in catering in any way, shape or form is going to enjoy things like that. I, I actually hear footsteps. Oh, look. There's a shadow, and it's following me. Right, okay. And, and you can actually hear footsteps separate to your own as the shadow moves. Now, you, you've got access to different devices. You've got... Oh, there we are. Electromagnetic frequency meter. Which you're not a respectable ghost hunter without this. And as it gets closer, you can see how the numbers go higher. And it is draining your battery power. <laughs> and that is not unfamiliar either. Who bloody following me? Get away from me. Right, so you can actually have... Oh! What I was saying earlier about you're not getting the shapes. Last time I played this, we didn't. But there we are. You seem to have found an unknown entity. Hello? Hello? Oh, and he's draining the power. Okay. Let's put that away. But that's just the kitchen. And go out into the uh, restaurant proper. I don't know if he'll follow me. Yes, he is. Dude is following me. He's malevolent. He's malevolent. He, he, he's, uh, he's moving. <laughs> and you know, you can actually hear the footsteps separate to your own. So you know he's following you around. I seem to have lost him. So the equip the inspector is not picking anything up here. Oh, what was that? Yeah, he's he's gone. He's gone, boys. Now last time I was in here, I, I swear to god the silhouette I saw was that of a lady. That I wonder if the ghosts are random as they show up. There's only really three areas you can check in here. You can check the uh, restaurant. You can check the bathroom. Don't think there's... Oh, that was on ten a second ago. Yeah, there's nothing in here. 
can actually use the EMF meter to... Oh, there's something big there. Don't know what caused that. But it went high there. I've detected this EMF anomaly before. It's not as high as it was though. It's the mustard. Paranormal mustard. Because there's a si the first investigation, you've only really got the EMF meter, the inspector and the torch, which, to be honest, you're not going to need a torch in here. That's not going to be that much use to you. You've got four batteries and these spirits, when they're near you, they do drain the batteries blooming fast. One last look around here. I think we've lost him. I think we lost him when we went out of the room. Okay, so... <coughs> you could you could just hang around here as long as you need to. You chose to end this investigation. Well, once the activity's died off, you can move on. Uh, once you've had some results from it, you progress. The Spook Inspector's team promoted you to trainee. You have advanced to trainee level. In addition to the new devices, you've been granted this stylish wooden bean, woolen beanie, not wooden beanie, with the Spook Inspector's logo. You're not a respectable ghost hunt unless you've got a woolen beanie, which will make you the envy of hobos everywhere. <laughs> Whoever designed this, they know they're ghost hunters. They know they're ghost hunters, so if you go to the office, office of the complex Spook Inspectors Paranormal Society, they rent luxurious offices in the basement of a local building in the town of Morleyville. The current members are, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. We're never going to see them. Why do we need to know about them? Most of them are surprisingly tall, muscular fellows, except for Melvin. That, to me, this, to me, sounds like this is an in-joke. This, to me, sounds like the game's been created by people who genuinely are ghost hunters. And they've included themselves in the game. You can look around, steal yourself for your next investigation. Investigate the office itself, which has its share of history. Alleged unexplainable occurrences. Stop leaving food in your office for weeks on end. Hey, Zeke, do you think your neighbour's lawn, known as your, is a new cryptid? I'm surprised you can spell cryptid. I can't even say cryptid. When the new trainee comes, don't do your usual crap. You know who you are. Vengeance is mine. Play nice, Zeke. None of the building's electrical wiring is extra. Bring your own wiring for your product projects. Too expensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, we'll stay here, thank you. New guy's office. Oh, right, I have my own office. Have my own office. Don't put anything heavy on this duct tape. Might not hold. Nice. Not so much an office as a prison cell. Oh, you see, now we've also got a couple of new devices. Uh, a thermometer and a thermovision scanner. Or UV scanner, I should say. Anyway, I haven't actually been in this. Uh, place before. Look. Probably not paranormal. If in doubt, run. If really in doubt, don't run faster. Biff's office. 
change your shirt once in a while. They, they sound very friendly. Door's locked. Is Zeke's locked? Yeah. Clyde. Yeah. Melvin, come on. You're not security conscious. Yes, he is. Oh, God. I get a headache looking at that. Impossible darts. Try to hit the inner zones. Ooh, migraine of vision. Punch me. <laughs> I can punch it. Oh. You can spend the entire game just punching the ghost. What are those stains on the wall? The shadows? Are they a map of the world? Is it damp? The lab. Okay. What does that post-it note say? The restroom. You guys know the rules for this place. Oh, we can get in there then. Closet. Where's the key for this door? Door seems to be locked. Biff was here. Well done, Biff. Genius. Everyone needed to know that. Biff's throne. Biff's true office. But I, I basically, I don't really like the sound of this Biff character. Melvin, none of the electrical wiring is extra. Stop it. <laughs> right, let's have a quick scan with one of our new toys. Um... I don't think, because I've not been experiencing any phenomena, phenomena, any ghosts in here. Oh, there's a strange creaky sound, though. Oh, hello! The bloody hell's that? And he's draining my batteries. And as you can see, something is draining battery power. You seem to have found an unknown entity. I got one. Now, I'm hoping there's going to be a bit more than just shadows and silhouettes. Because it was sort of shadow. That, this is why I experienced last time I was in the uh, Greasy Spoon Diner. I had this with the shadow and no silhouette. But it, it, I think it's going to get a bit dull if that's all it is. But by the same token, that's ghost hunting, guys. That's ghost hunting. Okay, let's uh, go on to Steakhouse. Green Eyed Jack's Steakhouse, an isolated stretch of road. In an old building with a long history of alleged alleged incidents. Advertises massive burgers and steaks, the more more meat than you can eat, and is known for its Bubba Burgers eating contest, as well as other strange activities such as reports of disembodied footsteps, floating lights, unknown figures outside, and something sinister near the restrooms. According to the waitress Maddie Breezer. And it isn't just Bob dealing with his constipation, said Maddie. Okay. So that that's the outside. Just have a quick look. I'm going to use the EMF meter first off. See if we can pick up anything. And I would say, as someone who's been on genuine ghost hunts, it's very, very similar. I, real ghost hunts, you tend to hear more knocks and bangs. You don't tend to see shadows of people walking around. But real ghost hunts, there is a lot of waiting. Right, the restrooms are there. There is something sinister near the restroom, so we won't quite go there yet. Let's give it time. Oh, 
Oh, it's gone up there. That could be because we're near the ovens. EMF meters tend to be set off by electric things, oddly enough. Stop throwing food at other staff members. Now that mark down there, that is actually my shadow. So I don't actually have a shadow. Is that going to be a twist at the end that I'm the ghost? What are the little lights? That guy's outside again, looking in. I'm out, I quit. I need to see the guy outside looking in. I need to see that. That'd be awesome. I know for a fact the restrooms uh, have something because last I I, ha I had a little look in here last time I played. Are those the lights that they're on about? Look at those lights. Surely they're just street lamps, though. Surely that's what that is. No, no, not really quick. Those street lights there are softer. Look, there's the lights. Quite warm out. Yeah, hey, you can pick them up on the thermo vision, but you can't pick them up on the uh, uh, inspector. I know it's a computer game. I know it's not real, but oh. I thought I heard something bumping behind me there. Last time I went into the restroom, there was something there that actually knocked me out, made me unconscious. That door's locked. Yeah, I'm definitely hearing something. Other than me walking around. Like a thumping noise. If, if I start to feel woozy, I'm going to run for it. someone in that car there's someone in that car well that could just be anything oh, this is remarkably quiet Hello? Is there anybody in here? Just knock if you can hear me. Is there anyone home? My apologies to uh, Roger Waters there. Right, there's footsteps that aren't me. I'm getting really into this. This is actually unusually quiet.
the lights seem to be flickering over here as well. It's, I suppose if you go into a certain area, things and I and I can verify now through experience. You don't get the same experience every time you hunt, so you can come back to these places again when you get more gear as you progress. You can come back. Okay, so if you're looking for uh, the kind of game, let's switch the flashlight off, where um, you're chasing ghosts and they're hidden in the same place every time, and you you have weapons and things to shoot them, this ain't the game for you. If you're looking for something that will simulate the ghost adventures experience, if you if you see yourself as a potential Zach Bagans. This is the game for you. This is really... This has an authentic feel to it. Short, short of going on a real-life investigation, and if you've never been on one and you're interested in that field, I do genuine, genuinely recommend you give it a shot. But this is as close as going on a real investigation. The fact that every time you go to a place you get a different experience... I'm going to log out of this one. I'm going to try a new uh, area. Simply because it, 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 this one seems a bit dead tonight. Yes, really quit. We chose to end this investigation. Have I got any new toys off the back of that, though? No. Okay. Oh, well, if I go back to the office, will that have changed? Because I get the impression... Come on. There we are. As you as you spend more time I suppose as you progress through it you get more stuff. The tools of the trade. We didn't look at this earlier, but I think this was here earlier. That's the inspector, that's what we've been using. And batteries. A rubber duck and what the hell is that? I, I, I don't know. I don't want to know if I want to know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to know. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing new. Nothing new. Okay, let's go on a new investigation then, guys. Oh, wrong one. Out near my office? No, there isn't. Yes, please. Okay, uh, let's go right down here. Let's have a look at... See what we've got. Notches Corner Township. An abandoned mine. An old fish market. A seafood restaurant. There's a lot of restaurants. Shoe shop. Jeans wear shop. There's no old buildings, is there? There's no old buildings or anything. That's what it's missing. Historical buildings. With a history. Stores owner has requested an investigation as Blister Billy Shoes is reputed to be haunted, according to some of the staff and customers. Employee Crystal Hicks once ran screaming out of a store, yelling about being chased by an invisible man, which led to the temporary suspension of Morton McGurk on charges of harassment, until it was established that Morton isn't invisible. Blister Billy Shoes sells children's footwear. It's based around his namesake character, Blister Billy. Employees describe differing experiences, ranging from positive to flat-out legit freaky, in the words of Petunia Bumpus. Great names. Fantastic names. Right, okay. In the staff room, by the looks of this. The only thing worse than working in a mall is death itself. <laughs> Plato. Told you not to take my my cat stickers. Where's that chum from the paranormal group going to get here? That's nice, isn't it? Before heading for a coffee break or heading home, stop to consider whether you're truly exhausted yet, or whether you can give another 10% for the team. Yeah, that's it. No, no, I don't want to quit. I thought I was in another room. That's it. You tell them how it is, guys. 
<laughs> if you're still breathing, you can still work. Oh my god. Well, straight away I could see legs in the wall there. <laughs> uh, right, okay, let's bring the EMF. Whoa, okay, the straight away we got something. Oh, I thought that was something there, it was not. No entities within range. That the way that's flickering. Oh. Seem to have found an unknown entity. It's a blob. Cool. Sixty percent temperature. Nothing on the UV scan. Well, it's a temperature anomaly. Oh, look, it's manifesting. Oh, what's going to happen next? You see, no, I don't want to leave this. I want to see what it does next. But at the same time... I don't know. I... I Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Uh, it's made it easy for me. It's made it easy. Not quite sure what the inspector uses. Whether it uses EMF to make its pictures. IR inspector. Infrared inspector. It says infrared. Yeah, that silhouette's very questionable. Oh, it's a shoe he's holding. It's a shoe. I just have a very dirty mind. Oh, 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 oh. Something flickered over there. What did I experience over here? Is there anybody there? Detected an anomaly. I seem to have detected this before. <laughs> I, I will say there's a lot of red herrings in there like the legs in the wall create that kind of shadow over there there's that mist again okay Lots of vapours and mists. Our client is going to want a bit more than this, though. There it goes. Actually, if we bring up the thermometer... 70 degrees here. So the temperature is consistently 70 degrees. It got cold around the mist. And look out into a shopping mall. I expect to see zombies. I think we need to get rid of this. This guy is creepy as hell. Yeah, again, there's a, there's a... I don't know if you can hear that, guys, but there is a soft thumping in my left ear. In my left headphone, not not physically in my left ear. You see, this? It, the temperature dropped around the cloud because it was about 56, 55 degrees when the cloud was there. Sane have detected this EMF anomaly before, but there isn't anything of them what's there. 
in the snow and rain there are boots lots of boots yeah none of them are my fashion what I need is a uh, electronic voice phenomena detector oh hello hello just a shadow there there he is I can actually see him uh oh uh oh Oh, no, 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 don't, don't drain my battery. It's got really cold, look, 40 degrees. Oh, that is awesome. And he's draining, he's draining all my batteries. Oh. Dude. Nice hass. Uh, this never happens on real ghost hunts. If it does, that's like the Holy Grail. To actually see a full-on manifestation. Because uh, you get closer to him, it drops. The temperature drops. And so does the batteries. Batteries have gone. Batteries have gone. Yeah, the UV detector is absolutely bloody useless. It really is. So while he's there, is there anything else happening? No, it's just that one. Just that. I'll shine the torch on him, see if that makes a difference. Nope, he doesn't give a hoot about the torch. No, go away, I want rid of a torch. There we are. Where's he gone? Oh, God. Oh, there he's still there. He's still there, look. And he's draining all my battery power. And there he goes. That was all right. That was all right. Lost stuff there. I wonder if that will progress me. Yeah, let's call it on that. Just to end this investigation. No. No, I, I'd have thought I'd have got a bit more from that. I'd imagine after you get more and more stuff, more and more results... I imagine you do get... There's empty slots for the gadgets and things, so I'd imagine that you have got more... things that you can get. So I, I, I think we, we need an electronic voice recorder. That's a temperature gauge. Yeah, well, you've got a sound recorder there. A, a parabolic microphone. And I want to know what the rubber duck's for. I want to know what the these... No, I don't know if I do want to know what those are. I really don't. Okay, right, well, I think, I think we will call it on that. Yep. Yep. Main menu, there we go. I think this is a good game. It's early access. It's very, very cheap for what you're getting for it. It's not got a clear progression. 
it's not got clear progression at all. It's like I that shoe shop, I got lots of gear and stuff in there. Lots of stuff, but lots of evidence. But I felt like as I closed it down, I, I was expected to see a progression screen, like, you've now been given this bit of a gear, that bit of gear, etc. I'd like to see, and I get the impression that they would add more maps and more investigations as the game progresses. If it's popular, if it proves to be successful, I get that feeling that th th there's a lot of room for this to go. There's new devices they can add. Uh, there needs to be more historical buildings. If you're looking for a game like Resident Evil, by Resident Evil, guys. If you're looking for something different. Something that will give you the experience of a real, genuine ghost hunt. This is as close to the real thing as you will get, short of going on the real thing. And say so that for genuine experience. I found myself being drawn into this. I found myself wanting to explore more. And I probably will. I'll go back. And you can... Go back to the same maps again and again and get a different experience each time. I know that for a fact now. Guys, this is a brilliant game. If it's if you're into ghost hunting, I'm going to recommend this heartily. I really have enjoyed this. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. I desperately need some more subscribers. I know a lot of you guys are watching me. Press the subscribe button. If you've enjoyed the video as well, please press the like button as well. Check out my Twitch stream. It is on. I broadcast every night other than Sundays. Uh, Monday to Thursday from 2030, British Standard Time. And Fridays from 2130, Saturdays from 2100 hours. So uh, please join me on my Twitch stream where you'll be uh, seeing me absolutely fail miserably at live games other than that keep it edgy and i'll see you next time